Hello students, today we will discuss about hypothesis that is unit 4. So, hypothesis first of all we should know what is hypothesis. A hypothesis is a promise or a claim that we want to prove. In mathematics or in statistics anything we have to prove. So, first of we have to take what we want to prove. So, that is a promise or a claim that we want to prove. So, there are two hypotheses that one is called null hypothesis, another one is called alternative hypothesis. Null that is 0, so it is denoted by H0, H for hypothesis, 0 for null. And what is H0? That is currently expect, uh, accepted value of parameter. An alternative hypothesis is HA and it is also called research hypothesis. In mathematics or uh, statistics, for everything we have to give a proof. If we want to prove something, the so first of all we have to prove. In statistics, nothing can be done by hypothetically or as we know. If we say something, it is not proved. So, to say something, to state something, we have to prove or we have to show with proper evidence. So, here in our H0, HA, are evidence and we have to prove for any claim we have to show that it is our result and this 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 steps with this this result with this this evidence we have proved this. So, for this uh, when we are testing a hypothesis we have two result. So, first is reject the null hypothesis or fail the fail to reject the null hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is what we expected, what is accepted means sun rises in the east. So, we accept this. If we want to prove that sun does not rise in the east, then we have to prove this. And for this, we have two sentences. First, we have we are failed to show this or we are failed to reject to show this means reject the null hypothesis, reject what we have accepted or fail to reject what we have accepted. So, here there are two level of confidence. First is how when we are proving something, how confident we are about something. If we are 99 percent some um, confident, if we are 95 percent confident, if we are 50 percent confident if we are going to prove something how much confidence we are. So, first of all we have to know how much confidence we are and it is called the level of confidence and level of confidence is written as C and it is denoted by for 95 percent confidence is 0 0.95 for 99 point confidence is 0 0.99 and level of significance we have to show the level of significance that is denoted by alpha and it is the subtraction of level of confidence from 1. So, alpha equal to 1 minus C. So, 99 percent level of confidence equal to 1 minus 0 0.99 that is equal to 0 0.01 level of significance. For 99 percent level of confidence is 0 0.01 level of significance or 1 percent level of significance. Now, what are the errors? Whenever we are doing something in hypothesis, there are two errors that is called error type 1 and type 2. So, how it becomes? So, first of all we have H 0 is true or false and we accept the H 0 and reject the H 0. We have two conditions either we accept or reject and we have two conditions either our H 0 is true or false. So, if H 0 is true and we accept this H 0 that is the no error. If our H 0 is true, but we reject H 0 then it is type 1 error. If H 0 is false and we accept it, if it is false and we accept H 0 then it is type 2 error and we H 0 is false and we are rejecting this, this is the no error. So, here alpha is again denoted by probability of type 1 error and beta is denoted by probability of type 2 error. So, basic of hypothesis testing is whenever we are uh, proving something we have to accept something that is denoted by H 0. So, in our case for the mu 
that is the mean that is the average there are three types of condition something is equal to greater than equal to or less than equal to this is a half other number this arbitrary number. So, for greater than equal to less than equal to uh, equal to our alternative hypothesis is not equal to less than or greater than. So, H 0 and H A are alternative to each other here level of significance is either 0 uh, either 1 percent either 5 percent or 10 percent. So, in our uh, this uh, hypothesis how we will prove something how we will explain something will be uh, so in our alternative hypothesis. So, in our alternative hypothesis uh, for our H A that is less than for our H A that is less than that is called lap tail test and our this is our normal bell diagram. So, here this is the less than equal something is less than this. So, this is lap tail test this is the lap tail this is the right tail and this is the two tail in both side our tail is this is not equal to sign. So, our mean is this here we have got not equal to sign. So, for our test we will some test are there and some values are there. So, for tabulator value of z, z is our special type of test for this test our solution tabulator value is for one tail test this two test for one person level of significance 2.33 will be answer 5 percent level of equipment 1.645 for 10 percent 1.28 and for two tail test 2.58 1.96 1.645. If you have to remember this or you may have chart or you can write it as your solution as your reference. So, now so for the last sample test there are two type of samples if n is less than equal to 30 or greater than equal to 30. If less than equal to 30 that is called small sample or it is greater than 30 that is called the large sample. So, there are two statistics generally we are using z and t. For z test the formula is x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root over of n and t sigma by sorry x bar minus mu divided by s into root over by n. Here sigma equal to standard deviation of population n is the sample size mu is the population mean x bar is the sample mean this is the standard error of mean. Now, degree of freedom is used in the t test for the one sample t test degree of freedom equal to n minus 1 for two sample t test degree of freedom equal to n 1 plus n 2 minus 1. This z test is used for large sample but t test is used in small sample. These are the two specific uh, exam uh, formulas this is used for large sample this is used for small sample where sigma is the standard deviation of the population when s is the standard deviation of the sample where s can be find out like using this formula x minus x bar that is mean of the is sample divided by n minus 1 root over. So, this is our formula. So, let us do some problems then we will understand betterly.